Exploring the world of words, demonstrative pronouns made easy. Hello there, language explorers. In today's video, we're diving deep into a fundamental aspect of English grammar, demonstrative pronouns. By the end of this video, you'll have a strong understanding of what demonstrative pronouns are and how to use them correctly. So, buckle up and let's get started. Demonstrative pronouns are a type of pronoun that we use to point out specific things or people. They help us distinguish and specify what we're referring to, in terms of distance or spatial relationship. There are four demonstrative pronouns in English. This, that, these, and those. This and these are used for items that are nearby or current. That and those are used for items that are further away or in the past. Let's start with this and that. This is used to refer to a singular object or person that is close to the speaker. For example, this is my book. On the other hand, that refers to a singular object or person that is further away. For instance, that is your car. Now let's move to these and those. These is used to refer to multiple objects or people that are close to the speaker. For instance, these are my books. On the contrary, those refers to multiple objects or people that are further away. For example, those are your cars. To solidify your understanding, let's look at a few more examples of demonstrative pronouns in sentences. One. This tastes amazing. 2. Do you like those? 3. These are really heavy. 4. That was a wonderful concert. Remember, the purpose of using demonstrative pronouns is to identify or point to specific things or people. That's it for our exploration of demonstrative pronouns. Remember, this and that are for singular items while these and those are for multiple items. This and these indicate closeness, while that and those indicate distance. Hopefully, you found this guide helpful in understanding and using demonstrative pronouns in English. Keep practicing, and soon it'll be second nature. Thank you for joining me on this grammar journey, and as always, happy learning.